you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries december 20th fourth sunday of advent let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to saint luke chapter 1 verses 26 to 38 In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary and he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greetings this might be the angel said to her do not be afraid mary for you have found favor with god and now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son and you will name him jesus he will be great and will be called the son of the most high and the lord god will give to him the throne of his ancestor david he will reign over the house of jacob forever and of his kingdom there will be no end mary said to the angels how can this be since i am a virgin the angel said to her the holy spirit will come upon you and the power of the most high will overshadow you therefore the child to be born will be holy he will be called the son of god and now your relative elizabeth in her old age has also conceived a son and this is the sixth month for her who was said to be barren for nothing will be impossible with god then mary said here am i the servant of the lord let it be with me according to your word then the angel departed from her the gospel of the lord praise the lord jesus christ dear friends we come to the last sunday before christmas and the mass reading speak about the preparation that god made for jesus to be born among us and as one of us hey full of grace the lord is with you how did mary react to such an extraordinary salutation the gospel says that she was greatly troubled and uh, well she might be as a young and uh, probably illiterate girl in an obscure little town what would the words possible mean full of grace really means that she is uh, being showered with god's special favors it is more something that is happening to her than something she already has the nature of that favor is favor in what follows she is to be the become the mother of a son whom she will call jesus and who will be a king of whose kingdom there will be no end what an extraordinary thing to be told what really disturbs mary is that although she is already betrothed to joseph she is not it fully married to him in other words she is not having conjugal relationship with him as his wife and so how she is normal course of events can she possibly become a mother it will happen because the conception will be the work of god the overshadowing of the spirit so that the child who is born will be in a very special sense the son of god yeah the first reading from the second book of samuel speaks of god asking god 
David to make him a dwelling place worthy of him. David, the king, was concerned that he lived in a palace of fine cedar wood, while God only had a tent, the tent where the Ark of the Covenant was kept. Eventually, a magnificent temple would be holy, but by God, David, but by his son Solomon. It would be rebuilt even more magnificently by Herod the Great. And in fact, the construction of a, the construction was not yet finished in the lifetime of Jesus. However, the house that David was being asked to build was a different kind of a house. It was the house of David, consist, consisting of all his listeners and his their subjects. The Lord will make you a house. Your house and your sovereignty will always stand secure before me and your throne be stable forever. In a great leap of faith and a trust in the angel's message, Mary gives a unequivocal and unconditional yes. Behold, I am the slave girl, the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. She had yet to learn what that GS would involve, but it was made unconditionally and it was never withdrawn. Though a life of trials and tribulations, of which we know surely only a fraction, arrived up to those terrible moments as she stood beneath the cross and saw her only son die in agony and shame as a public criminal. She never wants to withdraw that yes. Yes. There is clearly a message there for us. We too have been called in our own special way to give birth to Jesus in our lives and in our environment. We too have been called to say yes and unconditional yes to following Jesus Christ. Yes. Now, as we approach the celebration of Christ, Christmas, it's the time for us to renew that blood with Mary's help and example. Amen. May God bless us.